Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video. Today we'll look into information criteria, namely AIC and BIC. Information criteria helps us in model selection. That is, if we have multiple models and we need to choose the optimal one, we'll go for the one having the lowest value of information criteria, be it AIC or BIC. So, lower the value, the better lower the better. Let us look into a few features. Every model has got three features, namely number of parameters denoted by k. So a high value of k Would mean that the model is too is very complex or the model is prone to overfitting the second feature is the log likelihood denoted by L and the third is number of training samples denoted by n this means the number of training data points that the model needs to get trained now l a high value of l means that the model fits well Let us look into AIC now. The working formula for AIC is 2K minus 2L. As we have seen, our aim is to choose a model having the low value of AIC, which would mean for the AIC to be low, K needs to be low and L needs to be high. So low K means that the model is simple or not too complex and hence there is not much tendency to overfit. Less chances overfitting which is a good sign high L means that the model understands the data and it fits well so what story does AIC tell us AIC helps us in finding or finds a model that is not too complex and fits well. That is unnecessary features or unnecessary parameters are excluded Whereas, keeping the fit well, not too complex, yet fits well. So, we can see the chance of overfitting is reduced, yet the fit remains well. Now, let us look into BIC. The formula of BIC is somewhat similar to AIC with a slight change, that is, is natural log of n into k minus 2l. Now we saw what n is. n is basically the number of training samples, k being the number of parameters and l being the log likelihood. Again, for bic to be low, 
we need low value of n low value of k and a high value of l now what story would bic tell us bic would tell us or help us find a model that fits well not too complex and needs less amount of data to get trained and needs less data is needed to train it so the only difference over here that is between AIC and BIC is that in BIC the number of training samples taken into consideration while in AIC it is not so BIC can give us an optimal model that fits well not too complex doesn't overfit and also needs less amount of data to get trained now how can we use this basically we'll have multiple models find the AIC and BIC for all of them and our aim would be or our objective would be to take the help of these criteria to choose the best possible model that is the one with the least value of AIC and BIC so what is the difference between these except the formula one would be BIC penalizes redundant or non-performing features more penalizes more but AIC has a less or a smaller pen penalty in the next video we'll look into the practical implementations of AIC and BIC in Python. I hope you liked it and understood the concept. In this video, we have covered a few other concepts as well, which is overfitting and underfitting. The tutorial for which I'll attach in the end of the video. Thank you and I hope you liked it. If you did, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.